And the string is maintained at six newtons. So we have a force here we're pulling, which is six newtons. If the string does not slip as it is unwound from the peg, what is the angular speed of the top? After 32 centimeters of the string has been pulled. So you're, you're pulling and you're just applying a constant force and you pull for, you pull 32 centimeters. Of course, as you pull, the top is rotating, it rotates. And so the question is, after pulling 32 centimeters of the string, what is the angular speed of the top? <coughs> okay, here, this is a problem of conservation of energy. Work is being done on the system, the system being the top. You're doing work, and this work then appears as kinetic energy of rotation. The work done, since you're pulling at a constant force, so it's the force times the displacement. So you're applying a force and you're moving or the point of application of the force moves 32 centimeters. So the work done by the force is simply the force times that distance. And the force is 6 newtons and the distance is 0 0.32 meters. So this is 1.92 joules. So this, this is the work done, and this work must appear as kinetic energy of rotation. The top rotates with angular velocity omega. It has a moment of inertia I. So the kinetic energy of rotation is just half I omega squared, which is half times, this is 6 times 10 to the minus 4 omega square. So those must be the same. The work done appears as kinetic energy. That is, the work done is equal to the change in kinetic energy. That's the work energy theorem. The initial kinetic energy is 0 because it was at rest. And the final kinetic energy is this, half I omega squared. So the change in kinetic energy equals the work done. So work done equals delta K, which means that 6 times 0 0.32, that's the work done, is half times 6 times 10 to the minus 4 omega square. So the 6 cancels out, and 2 times 0.32 is 0 0.64. So it's 0 0.64. And here you have 10 to the minus 4. So it becomes times 10 to the 4 equal omega square. This means that omega equals 80 radians per second. So this is the angular speed of the top. Okay, let's...